My name is Iris Franz. Today we are going to find the modular rate of substitution of a cop Douglas utility function. So what is the modular rate of substitution? Using English is the amount of good two you are willing to give up in order to get one unit of good one. And mathematically it will be the slope of our indifference curve. So how do we do that? We know that modular rate of substitution is equal to negative 1 times the modular utility of good 1 divided by the modular utility of good 2. And because we know that modular rate of substitution is going to be negative, so I'm just going to erase that and I'm going to focus on the absolute value of modular rate of substitution. So modular utility of good 1 really is the partial derivative of our utility function with respect to x1. And downstairs we have modular utility of good 2. That's very similar. You take the partial derivative of your utility function with respect to x2. Then you'll be able to find the modular utility of good 2. So we do that. When we take the partial derivative, you are going to treat the other variable as a constant. So we don't do anything to that. So mq1 is what is a partial derivative of utility function, we take down the a and x1 to the a minus 1 power times x2 to the 1 minus a. You see we treat it as a constant. We don't do anything to it. And downstairs we have the partial derivative of utility function with respect to x2. So we're going to treat x1 as a constant and only take the derivative of x2. So we take down the 1 minus a and we keep x1 to the a's power, we don't do anything to it. And then um, 1 minus a minus 1 is negative a. So that's the way it is. And we can simplify that. We pull out a divided by 1 minus a and that's right here. And then we have x1 to the a minus 1 divided by x1 to the a power times x2 to the 1 minus a divided by x2 to the minus a. Now we can further simplify that. You can see that that one goes away and then one turns to 1 and that one turns to 0 and that one turns to 0 then one turns to 1 and anything to the zero's power is 1. So you simplify that. Upstairs that turns to 1. Downstairs you have x1 and here you have Upstairs you have x2, and downstairs you have x2 to the zero's power, so that's 1. And you can simplify that to a divided by 1 minus a times x2 over x1. And that's our modular rate of substitution for our cop Douglas utility function. I hope this helps, and you feel less intimidated by cop Douglas. I'll see you next time.